G'day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now the year is slowly coming to an end. Finally, we're at the back end of 2020. That was a bit of a rough year for everyone. So I thought just on the way out of the year, I should do a bit of a Q and A about my plans and stuff going into next year. So without wasting one more second, let's get into the questions. First question is from Clogsy Burton. Birdo, how are you big fella? He goes, how big of an effect do you think 2020 will have on your career? It's a question that I have thought about um, a fair bit. Hopefully none, really. Hopefully, you know, the derailing of the momentum that was the machine of 2019. Yeah, hopefully it hasn't derailed the momentum too much. I, I do, in my darkest hours, sometimes sit there and go, has the momentum stopped for good? I don't think so. So I'm hoping that it's just one of those years, you get a bit injured, you're out for, for the season, but the next season you do a big pre-season, you come back bigger and fitter. Samuel Kenny, biggest achievement in 2020? It's a great question, uh, Sammy. Um, I would say probably the album. I know it's just a take the piss footy album from a man who can't sing or play an instrument, but uh, I really like the process of making music despite having no ability in the field. Um, I, I really enjoy, yeah, you know, just, I think the, the process of creating the music and then putting footy lyrics over the top and then the videos, and it was taking ages to do the videos because of COVID and oh, I had to organize everything. I organized everything. I, I organized when it dropped. I organized the album artwork um, and it was stressful and it was hard, but it was so much fun. And just knowing that a couple of you guys out there enjoyed the album means the world. So I would say biggest achievement in 2020 is probably uh, making an album. Marcus Poon one Poony. <laughs> the big Poon train. Uh, what are your goals for 2021? Uh, many goals. Many goals, Marcus. Uh, it's redemption. It's redemption year. I feel like a lot of people out there probably feel similar. And um, it's a good feeling when it's sort of back end of November, start of December, and you get that fire in your belly. Last year, after 2019, I was more burnt out than anything. I, I got to December last year, and I was... I was spent. It took me a little while to get back into it in 2020. And then once I felt like I finally got the momentum back, uh, COVID hit and then views dropped, footy went away, couldn't leave my house. Stinker, absolute stinker. But yeah, feeling good, feeling really excited for next year. What are my goals? I want to at least hit 50K. I know that probably sounds silly because I'm nearly there, but I've been in the nervous 40s for a year. It's been a whole 12 months I've been in the 40,000s, which I'm very, very grateful for. Yeah, at the start of the year, I thought I could get past 50, and it's uh, it hasn't happened, so might just be my bogey number. Maybe I can't cross the 50 mark, but yeah, I'd love to hit 50K next year. I'd love to do some more stuff on the AFL. I'd love to collaborate with a lot more people um, in footy, out of footy. So I'd just love to be really, really consistent. And um, I felt like that's something that I lacked this year, but something that I know that I can do. Benty MFC, are you gonna focus on being a footy channel or like do cricket stuff in the off season? I don't like doing footy stuff over summer. I get a bit sick and tired of talking about it and I get a bit sick and tired of trying to invent the wheel in terms of like footy content over summer. I do want to do some cricket stuff uh, and I believe I will be doing some cricket stuff and I also still want to do those those videos that aren't footy that I, I bring out like your food inventors and your ranting about Nick Cummins Belton girls. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to do a lot more light-hearted stuff that aren't footy related or cricket related, but I will be doing some cricket stuff. Possible second album for 2021, 2022. Yeah, there'll be new music next year. There'll be new music for sure. Loved it, loved the process of making music. Uh, it is a side project and it will always be a side project. It's just something that is a part of YouTube for me. I don't sit here and say, oh, I'm, I'm making music because I'm a musician. I say I'm making music because I'm a YouTuber who taps into a bit of music for a laugh. So yeah, I think there'll be heaps of songs next year. I've already got three or four pretty well done. I don't know if releasing comedy stuff as an album is optimal. I, I think drip feeding them just as singles and every song getting a video is probably the way to go. So that's what I might do next year. I might just drip feed them one, one a month and release a video with them. But yeah, I've got um, already got a couple of songs on the go. Thanks for your question. Why do I like? Cooper Baker 09. Hey mate, love the channel. Have you ever thought 
through this year of maybe quitting YouTube. Oh, Coop, Coop wants me done. Coop wants my head. <laughs> um, yeah, I have. No, I haven't. I've never thought of quitting YouTube as in like, I give up, I give up. Here's the white, the white flag. You know, I've been doing this long enough um, that th there are just a lot of ups and downs. There was more downs this year than ups, but um, you know, I've sort of seen it all on the tube so far over the last few years. Um, and I, I'll never quit making videos because it's one of my favorite hobbies. So the thought of quitting never crossed my mind. But what crossed my mind was, you know, if I have another year <laughs> financially um, that looks similar to this year, then maybe I won't quit, but maybe I'm not sure how long I could do this for. And that's not saying that there's dire straits by any means, but it was just like, you know, I'll be 26 soon, I'm 25 now. You know, if if I have a year like I did this year, uh, the clock is ticking. But if I have, have a year like I did in 2019, then we can do this for a long time, boys. So, uh, never thought about quitting, but it did cross my mind how long I can do this for if it's as bad as what it was this year. Why are you not gonna make any more parodies? They actually made my year so much better. Thanks, Angelo. With the parodies, I'm a big fan of stopping things before people want you to stop them. Like, I, I like that view of things. Obviously, I've done five or six guy recreations and probably will do more, so, you know, that rule doesn't apply everywhere, but um, the thought of the parodies stopping is, I've done five. Uh, it's the only content that I did in 2016 that I still do today. Like, every other bit of content I've sort of moved on from. I don't really do bad AFL puns. I haven't done big calls much since 2016, but I still do parodies. I reckon the last couple are way better than the first couple, but I, it's not viewed the same um, as the audience, which is fair enough. But it, it, it can just get tiring. You know, I, I put a lot of effort and time into the newer ones, and then, like, a lot of the comments, and I absolutely love everyone's opinion, but some of the comments are just very, this isn't as good as the first couple. Oh, this sucks. Oh, the first couple were better. And I love, like, people's views and people's opinions, but I started just to worry about those sort of comments a little bit too much. To a point where I was like, I can't be bothered doing them because I just know people will shit on them. So yeah, it, a part of it's like, yeah, I'd love to stop it early before it sort of fizzles out. And the other part was like, oh yeah, I'm not sure I love doing them as much as what I used to. But never say never, we'll see what happens. Sarah Studio 765 how much did you miss going to the 2020 AFL season? Uh, more than you'd probably believe. Um, I absolutely love going to the footy. Like, I don't miss these games if they're in Melbourne very often. Like, I might miss well, not many a year, to be honest. Um, I always like to go, whether it's a night game, whether it's a day game, whether I've got shit on. I, I always want to be there because I love seeing the footy live and I love supporting my team live. So, yeah, Sarah, it was really, really tough. But, you know, there was a stage this year where there was no footy at all. Um, so, just have the Ds on during the weekends when we were in lockdown, middle of winter, just to have footy on, I was just grateful for. But I will be so keen to get back next year. Kyle, would you ever like to be a commentator one day in the AFL? I think I would. So early on, like when I first got into radio and YouTube, I sort of wanted to be Hamish and Andy, but also sort of wanted to be James Brayshaw. And it was a bit of a weird mix, and I just thought you got to choose one or the other. So initially I chose the Hamish and Andy route by trying to get into radio, drive time, um, taking the piss. G'day guys, welcome back to 101 on the Fox. That, that's who I wanted to be. But since doing a lot more footy stuff recently, and I did TAC Cup Radio um, a few years ago, I, I would love to do commentary. I, I think... I'm starting to warm to that idea. That would be so sick. Has there ever been a take the piss commentator <laughs> slash, you know, I'm not a comedian, but from a comedic background, opposed to a commentator who either played footy or is a journalist? I don't know. Um, maybe there hasn't. But yeah, I, I think I would love to do more commentary opportunities if, uh, if I got the chance. Last but not least, Kofalo. Uh, goals for 2021, not only on YouTube, but life. I want to get a bit more financially stable. Um, I, I would love to upgrade equipment. I would love to upgrade stuff like my car. Um, in terms of not a newie, just a, a newer, older one, <laughs> because it's struggling a little bit. And yeah, I just want to uh, 
you know, I'd love to move out even. I wanted to do all this sort of stuff at the end of this year, but unfortunately COVID hit and um, yeah, couldn't couldn't quite tick off those sort of things that I was keen to tick off. But yeah, there's plenty of stuff I'd love to do in life, but I think just get a bit of stability, a little bit more structure. I want to wake up every day, turn the cams on, turn the lights on, film. I want to edit. I want to be busy. I want to be doing gigs with the AFL. And then through that, I'm hoping to, yeah, potentially move out, upgrade the car, upgrade the equipment, and just sort of keep feeding back into this machine. Oh, I think next year the goal is just YouTube. The goal is work. I think that's the focus. It's been, yeah, the focus for a little bit. Probably lost sight of it this year just because I threw the towel in and just thought, well, if the world doesn't want me to watch footy and do YouTube, I won't do it. But, um, yeah, I think that's the goal next year. A bit more discipline, a little bit more focus, and... Um, see how far we can take this machine. Anyway, guys, I appreciate your questions. If you want to be involved in the next Q&A, uh, follow my Instagram at kados38. I'm doing some pretty average things on TikTok as well if you want to hop on. Uh, it's just a bit of fun if you want to see some more content. I will speak to you guys very, very soon. Appreciate all the support. Cheers.